I've been waiting so long for this, and we finally might have an explanation as to how Godzilla is able to stand on the surface of the water in the middle of the ocean, like in this scene in Godzilla King of the Monsters, and many other scenes in other Godzilla movies. Thanks to the artists don't like that, bro, we may finally have a logical explanation or a few. He drew some amazing diagrams that clearly illustrate how this godlike feat could be accomplished. Now looking at this diagram, we know legendary Godzilla is more than 350 feet tall, and the ocean is way, way, way deeper than that. Except for, of course, near the shoreline. So how is it possible that he can effortlessly stand at the surface of the ocean? It doesn't make much sense, but there may be a few simple explanations. Sure, there might be an underwater mountain. That would explain one, maybe two of these instances, but there are only so many of these underwater mountains, and what are the chances that Zilla will have one to perch on every time he needs one? There might even be an occasional underwater pile of garbage, but that's gotta be even less common than an underwater mountain. Plus, that would have to be a pretty solid pile of plastic bottles and baby wipes to hold up thousands of tons of Titan. And it's even less likely, but not impossible, that Godzilla could just be bobbing along on a massive iceberg. This theory doesn't float around too long, considering these massive titanic sinking chunks of ice are primarily found north of the Arctic Circle, and it's kind of ridiculous to imagine. But you know what would be even more ridiculous? If we found out Godzilla is just riding around on the back of a friendly whale. This could explain how he can surface at will, but I gotta say the idea of a whale following him around in the ocean to be his stepping stool is pretty dumb. If you can believe a whale is possible, then it won't be hard to imagine Godzilla gliding around on a giant underwater Nimbus cloud. But that's just stupid, right? And so is the possibility that the King of the Monsters has his very own underwater forklift raising him to the surface at his beckoning call. He better hope OSHA isn't washing. Or, now hear me out, it's gotta be the shoes, right? He's gotta have the tallest and most adjustable platform shoes on Earth. Who knows, maybe Ron DeSantis hooked him up. <laughs> nah, that's definitely not it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard or seen. These theories are getting out of hand and it doesn't add up. You know what, let's just forget about it and say that Godzilla can stretch his legs as needed. He can go as long or as short as he wants, and as ridiculous as that sounds, if you consider all the other options we've looked at, it's the one that makes the most sense. And honestly, I don't even care anymore. I'm just glad Godzilla can somehow stand on the surface of the water in the middle of the ocean.